You've just heard our first uh, speaker comparison from this new bank of uh, speaker comparisons that we're doing. We spoke about that recently. And to kick it off, we did it with something that was pretty popular for my last little run, um, and that's being the Vintage 30 and the M Greenback from the Classic series. Um, two really popular speakers, two really versatile speakers, two speakers that don't necessarily sound the same, but um, 
Yeah, they're both really popular, so it's worth uh, checking out how they sound compared to each other, I think. Yeah, the the first video we did, the, the kind of short one, it was about two, three minutes, something like that. Um, it went down really well. Um, I think you all kind of liked it, so we thought we'd expand a little bit, bring in a few more styles, and also later on in the video, we're going to be doing a mix of the two speakers, which I think sounds really cool. Mm -hmm. um, again, I think I'm just going to repeat what you said. First house speakers... Um, that just sound great, so you can do them for you can use them for for loads of different styles, mm. um, but sufficiently different sounding, in that it is there's no right or wrongs in this, but I think you'll have a favourite mm. maybe in the in the particular style that you like the most or what you think's mo most useful. All right, something to consider with uh, speakers is where you will be likely to find them. And uh, by which I mean, are they most popular in combos or 4 by 12s that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And with these two, because they're such common speakers, uh, by which I mean you'll, you'll find them all over the place, I think you're just as likely to find them in, uh, in, in anything, open back 112s through to 4 by 12s I think there's... Yeah, the, well, the M Greenback tends to be a lot in 412s, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's 25 watt rating. Yeah. It's gonna have... I mean, you, you, what I mean is you can find that you can use the um, the Greenback is a great speaker for 1x12s as well, but you, yeah, you, you are right. a little bit limited as to... Because of the power rating, often they, well, traditionally they would have been 4x12s. You do mm. find them in 2x12s, but it's, it's a great speaker for... I mean, one of my favourite situations for it is actually an open back, small one by 12. Right. I think it sounds great, maybe because it's a slightly darker speaker. Mm. Um, but don't be scared off by putting any of these speakers in uh, in really any situation. No. That's what I'd say. Yeah, yeah. I don't think one lends itself better to open or close back or anything like that. Yeah, and don't be afraid of um, wattage numbers as well, because like... Not too much, but if you <laughs> blow one up, don't <laughs> don't cite this video. Yeah, well, yeah, that's true. But how loud is 25 watts? It's pretty loud, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, so for me, um, to what I prefer, or not necessarily what I prefer, but what I notice from these recordings is that the Vintage 30 extends a lot more into the high end than the M Greenback from the Classic Series. Um, I keep saying that in its full name because there's a lot of Greenbacks and we'll have many of the other ones in these videos coming up in the future yeah. but um yeah the um the m greenback is more of an old school kind of voice i guess it's a bit more rolled off in the top end and um it's got a different mid character as well so i'm looking forward to hearing how they sound blended together because um often that's where you get if if the greenback's a little bit shy in the top end but the, the vintage 30 has got that then combine them together you get those qualities yeah. mixed together and it's um they can complement each other really well Okay, now we've got the mix of the speakers, so you're going to hear both speakers together rather than one against the other, and you're going to hear them through five different styles. <laughs>
hearing them together. Mm. It's not actually, to say how popular both of those speakers are, it's not actually a, a particularly common mix of speaker. I no. think maybe partly down to um, there is a difference in, in volume, difference in sensitivity rating, yeah. which doesn't really cause me a problem. In, in, these, um, in these recordings, with oh, Joe's balanced everything. So um, there is always the temptation when you're listening to two different or the same piece but different volumes that your ear will kind of go to the, the louder mm. of the two. It kind of sounds more exciting. So we've tried to get rid of that. Um, yeah, I just love them. I think, like you were saying earlier, um, they kind of cover what the other one kind of lacks if yeah. it does. Oh, and I think the result is kind of best of both worlds, I'd say. Yeah, I think in this video, my favourite sounds are the blends, definitely. Yeah. yeah. All right, we, we've had talked about this before. We recorded these in 1x12s. Mm -hmm. So the mix that you're hearing isn't actually what uh, they're like in the 2x12, but I think it's quite a, a close approximation, really. I think, you, I think it's quite a, mm -hmm. um, a good starting point. To hear what they'll sound like the the one by twelve that we use the fat baby is quite a beefy sounding cab it's yeah. closed back um, so it's going to get you pretty close. All right, well thanks for listening to that and thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Um, as I say, we've got loads of these coming up and if there's any uh, speaker combinations in particular that you want to see, put them in the comments below. Uh, we always read that and um, it's great to hear your ideas on what you want to hear. So it just remains to be said, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Um, hit the bell icon for notifications when we bring out new videos. Uh, the thumbs up button. Give us a like and a share and all that stuff. And we'll see you on another video very soon. Cheers. Bye.